Hello there guys, it's Kansas here with Rhea Reese and I have a how-to video for you guys today where I will be showing you how to use the watercolor creams. And with these creams we have two sets of 12 where we have your standard colors, these bold beautiful colors here and we also have some metallic colors. These watercolor creams are extremely easy to use and I have a swatch here that shows you the colors except for the black and white. But I just want to get a close up of the shimmer because it shows up so beautifully once it's dry. So today I'm going to be showing you three different techniques where we'll be using these watercolor creams along with some water and a watercolor brush or just a standard paintbrush. And they're very simple to use, they're just like using watercolor pencils but I'm going to jump right in and show you guys how to use it so technique number one is the simplest way to use the watercolor creams and I'm going to show you how to do that now but I just wanted to mention that I am doing drawings of ice cream that I've gone ahead and sketched out in colored pencil you can use graphite or a regular pencil but I did this way so that the lines come out cleaner so what I'm doing here is just laying the crayon down on my watercolor paper and as you can see here I'm adding in a little bit of white and just to get a lighter shade of the red and the orange and now I'm just going to take my brush and dip that in water and blend that out it's so simple to do and also I was showing you a little bit before when you're using the white if you're taking that to basically blend the colors out you can just take a piece of paper and wipe the colored pigment off of your white crayon but it comes off very easily. So here I'm just blending the colors together and I wanna leave a little bit of white space in the middle and work with it just like watercolor. So I'm gonna finish this up and jump right into technique number two. So technique number two is my favorite one to use because all you have to do is just take your watercolor creams and use a palette. You can use any kind of palette that you have on hand or you can even use the container that the watercolor creams come in and you want to just lay the pigment down. So for this one I'm doing a mint ice cream so I'm using a little bit of blue, green, and white and also brown for the cone. And then what you want to do is just add water to the palette, mix those colors together, and then it just turns into a watercolor paint. And this one is the one that I like to use the most because you can do your wet on wet technique if that's what you desire or your wet on dry. It doesn't matter. The possibilities are endless. So you want to just keep going in and painting like you normally would with watercolor paints and just add as much or as little paint as you want to. Be sure to leave some white space and then I am going in to add in just drops of brown for the chocolate chips and then I'll also take my brown um, watercolor cream and just dab a little bit on top just to give it some more interest. So the last technique is technique number three where we will be taking the watercolor cream and dipping it into water. We'll also be adding some water as you can see here on the watercolor paper. So this is sort of like a wet on wet technique where you can dip your medium into water or you can even do what I'm doing here and just wetting my paintbrush and taking the pigment off of the watercolor cream. That's a great way to do this technique as well. But here you can see I'm dipping it into water and now I'm just going in and laying the color down. So with this technique, I like to use it because this one gives you less texture than technique number one and it's also easier to blend and smooth out. So it just gives you one less step than technique number two, but it also is easier to work with than technique number one. So now I'm just finishing up by adding in more water and just moving that paint all around so I can show you what it looks like in the end. Alright guys, so here's the final result. Leave a comment below and tell me which technique was your favorite. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching.